be like Eclipse and do some G shit. Some people say the Kosatka is faster and some people say the long fin is faster as an approach vehicle. Uh, I think the long fin is faster, but let's find out. I'm gonna put them side by side. We're gonna keep time and we're gonna see which approach vehicle is faster. So we're gonna do both the threat mission and the heist itself. So I got all the threat missions done right now except approach vehicle. Now we'll be doing both of them. And then I'll do the exact same heist with both approach vehicles and then we'll see which one is faster. So this is on PS5 and I'll be using job warps for the long fin prep mission. If you want to know how to do that I'll put a link in the description with a tutorial. So the left side will be long fin and the right side will be Kosaka. Alright, so let's go. So I already delivered the long fin, but I'm still uh, busy in the submarine, finding the, the signal jammer. So the long fin is definitely faster, but I still have to go back to my Kosatka though. So I'll just switch session for the, for the long fin. I guess I'll keep the time running because uh, without a mission you end in the Kosatka. So I'll stop it when I'm back in the Kosatka like right now. But yeah, it's still faster though, like long fin is definitely faster. So the signal jammer can be in three different spots, right? Three different places in the submarine. 
So if you're lucky and you find it in the first spot, it would have been a little bit faster. But if you're unlucky, you'll find it in the last spot and you would have been even slower than this. And the long fin prep mission is basically always the same, like I just did it. So the long fin is definitely the faster and better prep mission. But let's find out what's uh, actually faster on the heist itself. Okay, so now I got both approach vehicles, so we can find out which one is faster on the heist. Uh, don't ask me why, but now the Kostavka will be on the left side and the long pin will be on the right side. So it will be the exact same heist and I will get Elite on both, and on both I will be glitching into the west storage. So yeah, it will be basically the same, but uh, just finding out which approach is faster. So yeah, let's find out, let's go.
So I'm already finishing the heist with the long fin approach and I still have to ride the bike and take the jump and everything on Kosatka approach. So clearly the long fin is again faster. So this is why uh, people use the long fin approach. But I have to say me personally, I only do the long fin approach when I don't have hard mode and I'm solo. If uh, I do have hard mode, I'll go with the Kosatka though. Because uh, you don't have an extra life so you can blow up the boat and you have to take a jump with the long fin if you got hard mode. And even uh, the best players, like the ones uh, that are like really good with the boat, they will still mess up the jump sometimes because of the waves on the water and shit. And then it won't be faster anymore. So me personally, that's why with hard mode I would take the Kosatka approach and also when I'm with a team I would take Kosatka approach if there's enough loot on the compound depending how many people. But yeah, so, but if you don't got hard mode then you could do this though and it's faster like I showed. But yeah, that's it though. This is your man Slink Johnson, BKA Lamar Davis. Shout out to my homeboy Eclipse for making the dopest GTA videos on the planet. Follow, subscribe, like, comment, all that shit.